Our approach to learning and teaching really evolved from the ground up. It evolved from professional dialogue amongst teachers, which keeps learning and teaching at the heart of everything that we do. From that professional dialogue, we evolved and developed a set of nine principles which underpin and act as a springboard for teacher autonomy, for planning and for creativity within lessons and within learning. It helps us learn when we learn like rhymes for rounding and multiplication. It just helps remember it and how to do it. The nine principles are unique to our school. However, educational research will, will have different names for these nine principles. But I suppose with the focus we've had in investing or sharing good practice days, teaching professional learning, we've really drilled down to what is the best practice within these unique principles. The nine principles are there as our starting point and they're there at the very core of everything that we do in terms of planning, learning and teaching within the classroom. I think what helps me learn is like the teacher coming over to me in private because sometimes it can feel a bit embarrassing maybe when a teacher like just like asks you in public because sometimes you feel like maybe everybody else knows it but you but also when they come over and then like it's just private it's way nicer because just it's secluded and you know the teacher has time to talk to you. As you go around the school today within the full range of the curriculum you will see a variety of activities um, with different lesson intentions taking place however you should be able to identify when things like the teacher is guiding the learning, when a success criteria is being established, when modelling is taking place, when effective questioning or engaging recapping activities are taking place. Those are sort of standard practices within the school across all the different curriculum areas. I know that I'm progressing in my lessons when I get positive feedback from a teacher, but not only positive, also critical feedback because then it also helps me to reach my targets and grow. So we can look at the quantitative data that tells us how our students are doing and performing academically. However, we have put a lot of focus into really drilling down to the qualitative data that our parents can tell us, the students themselves can tell us, that the staff upon their self-evaluation is able to tell us too. So all of that information collated together is able to tell us that the main principles of teaching and learning is having its impact. We're developing a community of enthused, engaged, and confident learners who can express their own ideas and their own attitudes when it comes to their own personal learning. Things that help me learn are talking to the person who sits beside me because they can help you try and like, get the answers to the work and um, you can help them and so you're communicating with the person who sits beside you. When I'm finding something difficult I find that the teacher is showing me a demonstration of what I'm trying to do is really helpful because if they know how to do it themselves then that makes me feel better because like they know how to do it and I'm in the right hands to learn it. It needs to develop and evolve. It never ends. The dialogue that we have between ourselves, our students, our, our parents and our fellow teachers has to be an ongoing process or else it becomes static. Um, so it's something that we continue working on and it is a lot of work, um, but it's something that um, our students use as a link between our core values and their own real lived experience. Our nine principles of teaching and learning enables our students to really be stretched and challenged. We're showing the learning visible to our students that this is what they can achieve, this is what they're able to do, and we enthuse them and enable them to be able to, able to meet those academic standards.